Hello, this is Jimmy Blevins. Today I'm going to be going through the button module with the Divi Visual Builder. I've got the Visual Builder loaded up and I'm going to go ahead and add in the button module. Now, the general options of this are really self-explanatory. Here's where you put the link um, to wherever you want the button to go and here's where you can select the target if you want it to be in the same window or a new window. The general rule for me is if I'm linking to something within my website, of course I want it to all run through the same window. If I'm linking to an external website, um, I really like that to pop up in another tab or another window so that people can still get back to my web page regardless of whether they go on the internet. Uh, the button text, this is just where you put the text that you want for your button. And the alignment is where you want it spaced within the column so I can move it to the center or to the right or back to the left. Now let's get into the design. And this is something you'll find throughout all the modules um, with the Divi Builder is anytime there's a button or a button in a module, you have this option to you know, completely ignore the custom styles or turn them on. And that'll pop up a bunch of options for you, you to change with the, with the button. And they're pretty standard throughout most of the modules. Now, most of these are pretty self-explanatory. This one will increase the size of the text within the button. Um, I can change what color the text is, and I can also give my button a background color if I so desire. So, say I wanted to use this purple, but I wanna just lighten it up quite a bit. I can do a border width, I can change the color of the border right now it seems to just do whatever the text is but I can change that to something else this is nice I really like that you can round the edges and of course space out the letters change the font and then add an icon which I think is a really great feature um, standard with all the buttons just by default the hover feature automatically shows the icon so it has a nice little animation and you can change that to where there's there's always an icon or that's the default setting so that's if you want an icon or you don't and then you can change it say I wanted you know the the two arrows instead of just one I can change the color and make it specific I can move it to the right or to the left and this only show icon on hover. So if I always want the icon to show and I click on no, you can see the icon just stays when I hover over it instead of popping in with the animation. And here's where I can change all the hover elements. Um, and I just want to change the background color to show you how that works. And what I really love about this button module is there's so many ways to customize it. You can, you can have a website with 100 buttons and no two of them a lot are, will be alike. And I think that that's, I think it's really great that they put all these features and customizations to buttons because this is your call to action. This is something that you really want people to click on. And it's great that they give you so much control over how to make it look, how to design it, and how to really mesh it with the layout of your website so it grabs the eye and people want to click on it. That pretty much covers everything with the button module in the Divi Visual Builder. I'm Jimmy Blevins and thank you so much for watching.